All right, I'm going to set up and create a panorama rendering um, from Enscape. <clears throat> so the first thing you want to do, of course, is decide where you want your view. And where I want my view to be is from this top floor so I can see these sort of beams running across the top floor. So I'm just going to go to my Plan 3 schematic. <clears throat> and all you need to do is create a camera kind of in the center you know of where you want to stand so typically you don't want to be like right up against the wall because when you turn around your face will be in the wall this is a pretty small building <clears throat> so I'm just gonna pick a spot sort of right here so I'm just gonna go to my view tab and 3d view and camera and I'm gonna leave the default settings up here and I'm just gonna come in and it does um, it where you're looking will typically be the beginning of your panorama but I'm just going to sort of pull this view out, right? And you're going to see it appear. And I'm going to rename that P1, right? OK. And now <clears throat> I can render this out as a panorama. And I can do that in two ways. I can do it through Revit, and I can do it through Enscape. If you want to do it through Revit, <clears throat> you can render in the cloud if you go to render right it the options really here are very limited yeah so but if you render in the cloud which you have to be logged in you can read through this it will give you the option to do a panorama or a stereo panorama so the stereo panorama is for Google Cardboard um, and the panorama is just for a single still image on the computer, although most computers will read the stereo panorama correctly, so I typically just do that. Um, so if I pick stereo panorama here, right, and <clears throat> I click render, oh, except I want not my 3D view, I would like my P1 view, right, and <clears throat> I click render, it will now gather all the scene data and push it up to the cloud. Now you can also render stills this way, so that's a good point if you don't want to render out through um, through Enscape. But you can also do it in Enscape, so I'm going to sort of restore this guy down and go ahead and start my Enscape. <clears throat> Let it load up. And once it gets started, it'll show me the view that I have, right? And you can see the background, the cubes and things, right? Um, and then <clears throat> under <coughs> panorama, right? I think that I'm... All right, so I just experienced this for the first time. Um, the, the panorama option is grayed out. <clears throat> and the reason it is is because <clears throat> you have different options for rendering <clears throat> view settings in Enscape, and you can control it from here as well as in the dialog box. But if you click on this for panorama, it must be set to perspective, not two-point perspective. So it has to be perspective. So once you click on that, you will see the panorama, and you can render a panorama which is the single one, or you can render a panorama for cardboard. So I'm going to click on render panorama for cardboard. And it's going to start rendering that panorama. And it does take a little while to render it. You can see it down there at the bottom kind of creeping across. So I'm going to, and it's spinning the, the model as it's doing so. So I'm going to go ahead and pause this while it renders out. <clears throat> okay, so it's finished the panorama, and I'm going to go to Manage Uploads now. Um, and what <clears throat> Enscape does is it takes the panorama and places it up on the cloud. So one thing you want to be considerate of is that this panorama, right, um, is actually up on the cloud and associated with your particular user on this computer. It's different than the Revit, uh, than sorry, than the Autodesk gallery where you can log in separately. Um, <clears throat> so you want to be consistent 
about either saving down everything that you put up here. Like if you use two different computers, you're not going to get the same set of saved options here, right? Um, so once you get here, you can upload this panorama to the cloud, right? So it's uploading it. <clears throat> and then once you do that, you can, it will take you to, uh, you can hover over this and it'll give you a, a QR code or you can it'll take you and let you view the panorama in browser right so if you click on that it'll take you right to the link and you'll be able to view it in your browser so you can spin around right and look around your view and you can give this link out to people um, if I minimize this you can also <coughs> fly to panorama position um, but you can also come in and you can copy the link address, copy the QR code, um, <clears throat> save QR code to file, or remove the panorama from the cloud. If I save the panorama file, it'll actually save it as a JPEG. So if I save that, it gives you that as a JPEG. And if, if you wanted it <clears throat> to use it in something like RoundMe or other programs, um, you can upload that as well. All right. So um, we'll talk a little bit more about panoramas a little bit later when we link a few together. All right.